Hello my crypto friends, today I want to show you how you can create a, an airdrop to let's say 1000 Ethereum addresses on uh, Ethereum network using the multisender.app application. Let's get started. So the first step is you need to go to multisender.app URL and you will need a Chrome extension called MetaMask, that's your gateway to Ethereum world. And you, you can select the desired Ethereum network. This DApp supports on Ethereum mainnet, Robston, Colon, Ring, Big, Orly, XDAI network, uh, and PON network. So the first step is you need to choose which token you want to send out. So if, let's say, you are new to the, this Ethereum world and you want to test out this application, you can print free tokens just for yourself, just to play around with this app. And we also build an app designed just for that. It's called ERC20 Token Faucet, which where you can go and let's say, I wanna mint 6,000 tokens. And I'll probably use a lower gas price. And let's wait a little bit. Uh, so I can get my free tokens. I was just able to get uh, 6,000 ERC20 FOSIC tokens. So let's go back to the app, click refresh. And then now the DApp knows that I already have some tokens that I can use to send out. And then I'll need to specify the list of addresses in CSV format. If you don't know what CSV is, don't worry about it you can click the uh, button show example CSV. It also tells you if you need a token, you can go ahead and use the ERC20 faucet token. Uh, so that's the format that you need to use in order to send, um, to, in order to use the multi sender. So you specify the address, comma, and the amount of tokens that you want to send. So I'm gonna, and also the, the app is smart enough, let's say if you have some typos, it will show you exactly highlighted where the issue is, which address is invalid. And if you have multiple issues, it will show you th those two issues of, or let's say, uh, I'm gonna remove that one, use like this, total, yeah, wrong amount. So it's, it's very smart enough. So let's say we want to send out the airdrop to 1000 addresses with an arbitrary amount of tokens. So I'm gonna click send. So the app tells me that you want to send out 5,591 token. This is how much tokens I have, 6,000. And this is my ETH balance. So it gives me two options. How do you want to proceed? Do you want to pre-approve the multi sender for your full token balance? Which means, let's say, if I also want to use multi sender tomorrow, it makes sense for me to pre-approve for the full amount. So I don't have to like waste my transaction fees for the approval transaction. So I'm gonna use that because I know that tomorrow I'm gonna use the multi sender again and I'm gonna click confirm. And I'm just gonna wait when this uh, Ethereum transaction is going to be mined. So while we are waiting, so as soon as it's mined, the multi sender will start, oh yeah, it's actually mined. It start preparing the transaction data for you. So the longer you have data in your list, the longer it's gonna take uh, to generate some information for you. So I'm gonna click proceed and it tells me that this particular multi send 1000 addresses is gonna fit just in three Ethereum transactions, which is quite awesome, right? It's like almost like 333 addresses per one Ethereum transaction. It's very good improvement over the previous version of multi sender, which had the limit about 200 addresses per one Ethereum transaction. So it, it tells me exactly how much money I will need, how much Ethereum in order to execute this uh, multi-send. 
it's also taking into consideration this gas price 4.5 gigabyte. So I'm gonna use proceed with MetaMask, and uh, I'm gonna click confirm. One, two, and three. So as you can see, it told me that I only have to sign three transactions, and that's exactly how much I'm going to, uh, how many transactions I would have to sign. So now we can just wait a little bit and when it's mined, uh, it's basically, that's it. We just send out, we can already check this transaction, it's been mined and we can see, uh, yeah, this is like, it kinda, the MetaMask is a little weird. It goes from the like, uh, not from the top of the list, it's from the, uh, from the end of the list. So the, it's probably like those two transactions is gonna have like, 333 token transfers because this one has 125 and it only spent um, 2,243,000 gas for this uh, transaction and we can see this one was for the total of 718 so now we need to wait when this transaction is going to be mined so it's going to take some time for one reason, because we are nearby the block gas limit and some miners, they don't like those transactions, so they don't, um, we just have to wait for the miner who is gonna be friendly enough to those kind of transactions like Sparkpool. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna click pause and I'm gonna show you the next feature that we have also built for the multi sender. Actually, yeah, this transaction was mined and you can see how many token transfers we were able to fit into this transaction. It's actually 440 and two events. There are just some extra events that you just have to ignore. So 440 token transfer per one Ethereum transaction. That's, that's really, really good news and I'm very happy that we were able to push that far uh, to figure out the best algorithm possible for the uh, airdrops. So now there is just a one transaction that is still pending. Oh, nice, it's been mined. Yeah, 440 and we can see it, it burned uh, 7 million point uh, four gas. So you can actually put a little more, but it's, it's already enough. Yeah, congratulations. We just have successfully finished our multisend. Let me show you the next feature that we have built with Token Multisender. So, let's do it again. Let's select our, our token. And now we're gonna put a little bit more addresses. Let's say 1500. Click next. Uh, we don't have enough tokens, so what do we do? We can mint more. So how many tokens do I need? This amount. All right. Mint free tokens. So let's wait a little bit. We minted some tokens, now let's go back to the app. Let's select our token and 1500 cent. Okay, now we have enough balance. I'm gonna pre approve. Since this time it's more than 400 because the pre approval from the previous usage was like 400, and now we want to send more, so we have to pre approve again for the larger amount. All right, so the approval transaction has been successfully mined. So now we can click press seed. And this time it shows up our new feature. So we can see the total number of transactions needed is five. 
And it's best not to use MetaMask because it could be slow, it could be buggy. I mean, I've seen a lot of issues with the uh, with MetaMask. So I'm gonna pause it. Yeah, so we're back. And now um, I just put a little bit more effort to my balance because I noticed I had a less balance than I was supposed to have in order to execute this operation. So this is the amount of ether that we will spend in order to airdrop 1500 addresses. So and <clears throat> the multi sender gives me two options how we can send it out. We can use the MetaMask just like we did before or we can use much better, faster and simpler strategy using sound generated key. So what, what, the <clears throat> what the cell generated key means is it will generate a burner key on your device, on your local storage, in your browser cache. And then after the burner key receives the funds, it will automatically post all transactions to the Ethereum mainnet blockchain. Once the mode send is complete, the burner key will send the remaining ETH balance to your address and it will burn itself. So let's go for it. So the first one, this is the authorization to your newly generated key, uh, which we just generated uh, on the local uh, in the browser cache. So I'm going to click sign. And then we click the proceed with cell generated key. So this transaction is just the amount that just enough amount so it can uh, top up the balance for the transaction fees. So once it's mine, oh, that's pretty fast. See, I don't have to do anything. I didn't have to click any buttons. It's already done. So the multi-send uh, transactions, we can already see them here. They're just going to be pending. And uh, again, oh, nice. Whoever that miner is, Nanopole, yeah, thank you so much. It, it was very quick and fast mining. So we can see this transaction um, was able to fit 236 addresses. And let's say this transaction, again, because uh, it's a, so some, some transactions, they can fit like up to 440, like we saw previously. For this particular transaction, that means that those addresses who just received the tokens, they are new addresses. That means some extra gas needs to be spent on a storage location inside of your smart contract. If the address already has some balance of tokens, it takes less gas to spend. That's why it kind of, um, it depends like um, if, if that address is fresh or new, that is going to take one amount of gas. If it's already existing address, it's going to take less gas. <clears throat> That's it. I just, just have to wait for those transactions to be mined and then we're done. So basically I just waited some time when all the transactions are going to be mined. So the multi sender tells me, uh, it will send the rest of the remaining Ethereum that is left on this burner address, which is basically like 50 cents. It's, it's a very tiny amount, but we don't want to steal any money from you. So it's giving the back to the account that originally um, generated the request. Thank you very much. That was it. Basically, if you have any questions, if you need any support, you can always use the Telegram link on our website. We are 24 seven there. We will always to ha uh, help you with any of your distribution or airdrop uh, needs. Yeah, le let us know. Thank you. Um, by the way, check out the VIP section. It's also, it's, it's much cheaper. If you do a lot of airdrops, a lot of distributions, I would highly recommend you just to purchase the VIP for like one day, seven day or lifetime unlimited. Uh, usage of the multi sender so you don't you never have to spend fees for the on a smart contract thank you